Well, I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. And before we get into this, I just want to take a moment to say thanks to all of our troops. It's not very often you're going to see a Trojan with landing gear, retracts, and a Twin Otter with floats in the same video with one mile of asphalt runway. And this. Well, we're, we're celebrating the, the waterfowl, that's why. <laughs> Actually, Abby and I wanted to fly this, but we kind of were overpowered by the 10,000 fishers around the lake because <laughs> it's Memorial Day weekend. So we're not flying this today, but I wanted to. <laughs> Instead, we're gonna fly the very new Trojan. Everybody loves this. The only thing that certain people don't like is the little cartoony shark mouth on the front. Guys, I hope that's fireworks, but I don't think it is. Oh it is Memorial Day weekend for sure. <laughs> we all celebrate in different ways. We're gonna fly some planes today though, or at least one plane, put a couple batteries through this and really just get right in the sky with this beautiful calm day that God has blessed us with. So let's fly. Oh my goodness, you guys, this has been a challenge to get in the air. I had to rebind and reprogram my radio to the NX6 because I forgot that I set this up on the NX8. Uh, anyway, that's okay. <laughs> Always grab something wrong. It might need trimmed up, in other words, but I think we'll be okay. Let's go half flaps on this takeoff. You ready? Ready. Planning gear up and safe is off, but I thought it was on. Now safe is on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that beautiful sunset. You know, it's been kind of an appropriate weekend of flying, Abby. You flew a war jet, and although this wasn't a combat fighter or anything, the Trojan, um, a lot of pilots trained in it. So it's kind of like a warbird weekend. Look, oh, sorry, geese. I'm so sorry. There they go, <laughs> right below me. They're not happy. Oh, man, look at that one's one. like aggressive. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mr. Goose. Oh, man. Or Mrs. Goose. <laughs> Whoops, there Someone was not happy. Back over the runway, Abby. Let's go for a nice pretty pass. Beautiful with that sunset. Wow, let's fly up. And we'll roll it as we climb and then roll it back around with a loop. This is absolutely beautiful, beautiful flying weather. That's zero throttle. Throttling up. Who doesn't love this airplane? When they re-released this with these fully upgraded, uh, amazing, what am I trying to say? Just the updates, 4S capability and all the telemetry back to the radio. And it's just beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. Everyone got pretty excited and a lot of people ordered this and everyone is loving flying it. That tricycle landing gear, though it may not be the world's most robust landing gear, I haven't had any issues out of mine yet and I um, love how it handles on the ground. I think the geese sent in reinforcements. That is a little bit distracting. Don't you remember last year at sunset? Yeah, I do remember, if you guys remember, the geese fly in at sunset every night because there's a I pond like right over there. <laughs> okay, back to the plane. <laughs> so just like my last radio, I had to trim this up. It does have climb into it and actually, Still climbing. This is like a maiden flight since you All got the wrong again, radio. Yeah. A little bit of roll there. So safe is off. I'm just trying to get it trimmed up and flying really well. That silhouette with that beautiful sky is so awesome. This is just such a treat. And in 4K for everyone at home watching. Let's snap it. It's a slow snap, but that was pretty fun. Dive it back down. Really, this plane just wants to fly scale. That's what it was made to do. We'll roll it left and roll it right. Very cool. We can probably do a nice barrel roll too. I'll try to give you guys a good silhouette. Took me years to learn the difference between a roll and a barrel roll. Let's go away from the camera like this and we'll go into a barrel roll. Here we go. See how wide that was? It was kind of like a, like a pirouette kind of thing. It's very, uh, I don't know, it's not a tight roll, it's more of a wide roll. So look, here's more of a standard traditional roll. And even that was a bit of a barrel roll just because this plane flies so scale. You guys here, my heart is racing. I hope that's not shot toward us. <laughs> that was in a different location too. So here we go with another barrel roll. We'll just go a bit wider. Look at that, there we go, nice barrel roll. 
So a lot of times to do a barrel roll, you mix in a little bit of rudder too, and you want it to be a nice wide roll. However, if you just want to perform a snappy, quick little roll, you can just do aileron input. So just left aileron, just right aileron. If you really want to clean it up, you can use a little bit of down elevator. So this airplane, for example, likes to give you that kind of barrel roll look. It likes to uh, go wide, right? It's not a tight roll. So if you want to make it look a little better, what you can do is when you roll, give a little bit of down elevator or actually up elevator. When you're upside down, <laughs> it becomes down and it kind of helps tighten it up a little bit. But even so, this is not an extra or an edge or anything like that. And it's not going to perform extremely well compared to something like that. We can climb it, rudder over. We can still do some really nice scale maneuvers. Give it a little spiral dive here. Yeah. Here, Have we done a standard Four and a half loop? minutes. Four and a half? Well, I set my voltage alarm to go off at 3.3 volts per cell, which is pretty low. <laughs> that is low. Uh, knowing that this one likes to have a shorter flight time. So, you know what? Let's drop that landing gear and we'll land this with safe off. Let's go landing gear down. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to take it down the runway. We'll bring it around and we'll go half flaps on this landing. We don't really need flaps, but there is no wind. And so it's just going to help us slow it down a little bit more. You know what? We might even go full flaps and just really, we might go full flaps. Let's just do it. There's full flaps on. Hopefully we can slow the plane down and get a nice pretty scale landing in front of us. Then we're going to do a second battery just because these are shorter flights. Little hop, but it was still beautiful. That prop, oh, the paint on the end of those, the tip of the prop. Guys, let's see if we can just get a little bit more aggressive of flight in. Still keeping it scale, but nice and tight on this next flight. Let's go. I want to talk about a couple things with you guys on this flight. A few important things. Uh, a reminder, first of all, that this is the time of the season you really need to pick up your batteries and i say that because everybody's getting their planes they're flying and batteries go quick let's go for takeoff safe as off this entire flight abby just wanted to keep that as scale as possible get that landing gear oh no one is down i want to retry <laughs> that and see if we can get all three of those wheels up throttle up a little bit let's see what's going on landing gear there we go all three wheels up you just get that sometimes guys I've got an airplane, one of my jets, one of my favorite jets that I fly. Uh, it just- You didn't yeah, reset did your transmitter. <laughs> it does that to me all the time. Uh, one wheel or maybe even two wheels will stay down. Nothing is broken. They just sometimes don't time well and all three go up at the same time. So this is the time of the year that everyone's buying their batteries. So I'm gonna remind you guys, we'll have batteries linked in the description box below. And it's important to go ahead and pick some up because it's going to be hard to get batteries probably all summer long with all these weird shipping issues we're having. But then also just the competition of early spring, early summer, uh, everyone prepping to get their airplanes out and ready around the same time. So if this reminder was useful to you, please click our link in the description box below. My heart is racing. You guys can probably hear those gunshots in the background. Please click that link. It doesn't cost you a single extra penny but we will make a dollar or so on that battery when you buy it. Um, and no, they're not shooting at our plane. No, I don't think so. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Uh, it just helps us, helps our channel and our family. And it, it means a lot to us if you guys want to help support this family-friendly content on YouTube and actually other social media platforms too. So batteries, also, if you see one of your favorite airplanes in stock, I'm going to highly encourage you guys to pick one up because they're having weird shipping issues. Having said all of this, though, I wouldn't fly anything that we've been flying uh, on our channel from, from day one, even before we had YouTube, without having AMA. I've always flown with AMA. It's the Academy of Model Aeronautics, and they'll be linked in the description box below if you'd like to learn more. But primarily, they're an insurance company for those of us that fly our RC planes. And you really should have your insurance, whether you're flying on your own private property or in an AMA sanctioned airspace or at a space like where we fly. You just never know when that stray car is going to drive by um, something like a crazy GUN going off in the background uh, <laughs> on Memorial Day weekend. That's fine. If someone's having fun. And don't forget the National AMA Fun Fly is coming up next month. That is true. This is probably one of your last opportunities to sign up for that. So Abby, link that down in the description box below for me too. Yeah, the pre-registration is happening right now for it. Okay. 
And all these events, guys, these events this summer, Abby and I are so excited to hear about some events and possibly sneak into a couple as the summer approaches. I'm very excited uh, to get out and fly with people and pass out some stickers and just have a good time with everybody. We have not thrown a Cuban 8 at this yet, Abby. Let's do it. I need to think about the big picture when I'm doing a Cuban 8. I think it would help if I do the Cuban 8 with the hillside out here. Let's keep the hillside in mind as the roughly the bottom of the Cuban 8 with a little bit of room to spare. Someone says my Cuban 8 pattern could use a little bit of work, so let's see. It might be oh. difficult because I usually am filming close up, so maybe that's why. So I'm zoomed out now. Okay. So they can see it better. So I think the pattern looks pretty good, don't you? Yeah, I think I mean, so. It's a little, I'm getting a little crooked out here, but I can straighten that up. Let's straighten it up. Keep the cubanite pattern going. So I'm trying to enter it at around the same height. You want to get the same climb rate. Oh, that was a little lower. <laughs> right? Yeah. Not, not worrisome. It just, I didn't want it didn't look very good. You're at four minutes. Four minutes. Well, I've been zero throttle a lot. Uh, on those Cuban 8s. Let's get a little bit of aggressive low flying going. Love that on this Trojan. And then we'll bring it in for a landing with that beautiful sunset in the background. Look at these aggressive tight turns. I could get a little lower if it wasn't for that hillside. It's so deceiving. I've never actually smacked into it on anything like this, but whoo. All right. Well, what a way to celebrate Memorial Day weekend, right? I'm it's... tired of like getting shot at. Yeah, <laughs> so let's scary. land it. Let's make sure all three wheels come down, especially with that. There we go, I see three. We'll bring it in for a nice landing. Abby, I'm going to put the flaps on when I get down the runway. I try not to put my flaps on um, <clears throat> before my final bank, because a lot of times I'm not full throttle on that last bank. I'm trying to slow down. I go down as far as I can possibly see from the runway, and there we go, full flaps. I try to go down as far as I can so that I can bleed off as much speed as possible. But when you have flaps, it really helps. There we go, that was nice. That was really nice. I could have touched down a little further down the runway, but I wanted to get a, a little bit, those wheels, I wanted to touch down right in front of us. What a great taxiing, what a great scale, what a great flying warbird. If you love the look of the Trojan, and almost everybody does, this thing flies exactly the way you would expect it to. Guys, I'm so happy and grateful for everyone that has served our country uh, to provide the freedoms that we have. I think I do this traditionally every year and rightfully so. Hats off to you guys and just a moment of silence and thanks. Thank you, Mr. Gun Guy down there. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for I know, it. I thought he was going to celebrate in his own way too. The amazing T28 Trojan will be linked in the description box below with my entire setup. The NX6 or the NX8 and also other radios will work really well too, but if you want to fly on the same batteries I was flying on and everything, we'll have a link down there. It's convenience for you, but it also helps to support us. And guys, just while we celebrate this weekend and this airplane and this time we've had together, I want to thank God for everything he provides for all of us. Just the amazing hobby, but also another day of the heart beating, waking up and getting to enjoy another awesome day. It is so beautiful out here. These clouds look like the mountains off in the distance, Abby. It's really a pretty day. There you go. <laughs> pretty. And while we're on the subject of thanks, I'd like to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because you guys are the fuel in the tank that keeps us going. We thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. We'll have another awesome airplane video popping up right about now. Thanks a lot for watching, Abby. Let's get out of here. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!